it uh, warms my heart to see a multi sectoral approach in this room tonight. 1966, I was joking at my uh, team in table number four. When they speak here yeah, and confident speakers with not a subject of the sport area, you don't know what to speak about. So I'm sort of going to throw away my speech, but uh, I make reference to it because everything I sort of need to cover has been covered already. Uh, but in any case, I just start off by going back to our own nation's history. I want to thank every one of you for tuning in. I also appreciate the uplink to our country. I want to appreciate the media who are also here so that we get this launch far and wide throughout the length and breadth of our country. We speak rugby here as rugby league professionals. We talk politics as top political professionals. We talk economy as economy professionals. Every conversation we run in the social media. Let's get this one correct. Let's get this message on the loans of our national census out to everyone, far and wide. Is that okay? Yeah. And so thank you, media, we're here. Let's get our being correct. Census is important. From 1966 to 2024, 58 years old, population, number, dynamics, characteristics, composition has totally changed from the first count in 1966. I ask you all a honest question, where were you all in 1966? I don't know where you were, where all of you were. I was still in the XX and XY chromosomes of my parents. I was still deciding to make conception for my, for my, uh, my birth. 1966, my parents were in a remote place called Nome River, far up in the highlands, uh, the wet mountains and lowlands meet in deep western province. 1971, I was eventually conceived at birth. Count was happening in 66, I was not there. Count happened in 1971, I don't know whether I was included or not. Count happened again in 1980, I was possibly part of the 3 million plus that was counted. I was in grade 3 in a place called Kandem. And suppose from Kandem, I'm part of your kinsman. I was up there in Kandem in 1980. Count in 1990, I was at UPMG. I don't know whether I was counted or not, but I was part of the 3. 3 million plus who were counted in 1990. Count it happened. Count happened in the year 2000. And I was already out working as a public servant. Count happened in 2011. I was already first time in my parliamentary term, education minister of our country. And count is happening now in 2024. We do apologize for COVID 19 and various factors that made the delay from 2020 onwards. But since 58 years ago, when first count was happened, our country has changed. And today, it's more urgent that we make this count and make it happen. And so count me in, uh, make it count, leave no one behind, is an important moment for our country. Population data must drive the rest of development. Population data must drive the rational of ensuring that those who make decisions at cabinet, at the national cabinet, at the provincial cabinet, at DDAs, at LNGs, at the wars, they must be influenced by populist data and not by politics. They must be influenced by populist data and not by personal interests. We all need accurate populist data this is important. I want to encourage every one of us listening far and wide, make sure you are counting yourself. It is important when you participate in this count, uh, you make it easier for those in key responsible levels of decision making to factor you into their considerations for development. A prosperous and inclusive Papua New Guinea will only happen when the government at all levels, when these makers at all levels know exactly how many people we are dealing with. 
And it is important for us to get behind this one so that everyone in our country is counted. This not only includes the citizens, but I should say it must also include every human being in our country. Those who live in our country, who are special guests, whether you come in as a businessman, businesswoman, or tourists, or work in the NGOs, or work in a public service, or in the private sector, or you're just passing through, you must be counted also. In this occasion, on the 16th of July, rather 16th of June this year, until the 29th or 31st when it is completed, every human being in Papua New Guinea must be counted. Is that okay? And if it is not affected inside, I speak from our front, Mesosterians, to ensure that every human being in our country is counted in this moment. 16th of June to 31st of June 2024, every human being in PNG must be counted. We need to account for every citizen that live in our country and have heritage in our country by birth or by choice. And those who are citizens or residents alike, I want them to be included in this matter. I want to also ask the National Statistics Office, Minister Masari, you and spoke about this uh, in, in Redlands. You were specially appointed to ensure you have a hands-on, a leadership hands-on to the conduct of our national census. And I want to use this podium to offer counsel, make it least cost, but the most effective census that our country has ever delivered. There's no time and no event that is far greater than the 2024 census, because to not do so is to the peril of our own country, national planning, national government, provincial governments, district development authorities, LMGs, and everyone need the correct population data to make the right decisions where it matters most. So that the illustrations we saw in the three videos today is not a status quo 10 years, 15 years, 20 years from today, but a better, inclusive, prosperous PNG that belongs to everyone of us. I want to encourage National Statistics Office, you coordinate, you coordinate. Uh, Chief Secretary, you and DPM Secretary issue secular instruction out to every public servant who are paid already. There is no time for you to ask allowances to do this job. From 16th to the 20, 30, 31st of June, you are at work for the national headcount. We have massive public servants in all layers of our government, from Waigani all the way to the ward levels. Use the public service. Chief Secretary and Secretary DPM issue a secular instruction now that on this date, every public service far and wide throughout the length and breadth of our country, including the special region of Bougainville, the autonomous region of Bougainville, you deploy your time to the count of citizens that you are saying. We have public servants at the provinces, we have public servants at the district, we have public servants at the wards, or rather the allergies in the world. So use this public service for the count of our people. I want to offer you second recommendations to all grade 12 graduates in our country doing nothing in your districts and provinces far and wide. Don't come to Governor Papa and, and, uh, and wrestle with it in the city. Uh, report to your district administrators. Report to your provincial administrator wherever you are. Every grade 12 Graduate in our country who are doing nothing, not in class today. Report to your district C chief executive officer or your provincial administrator. Give your name, present yourself. You will be the enumerators used by the National Statistics Office. So deploy this cluster of public dignity who are out there. They have savvy. They engage in Facebook right now. They engage in WhatsApp right now. They're in our society. And so through this uh, occasion, I want to rally and mobilize all who have left grade 12, who have not found any place in our universities or colleges and in community. You will come out right now, tomorrow starting, report to your district administrator or your provincial administrator. We want to know you. Get yourself counted. We will launch a program in Port City for all grade 12 graduates who are in city doing nothing.
This may also go out to all who have left colleges and universities who are unemployed as we speak. You'll come out. In this census, we want to know you first. You're an important contact point for us in society. You'll come out and you'll partner the public servants in the count that we must do for yourself, your family, your people, and our country. And so I want to ask for the use of this cluster of public nucleus in our society doing nothing and let's make them and the public servants get to work in the current of our people. I look forward to the outcome and the number that will come out on the 31st of August that is ambitious as a date in which we will have a number. But I should say that this number may not be the cleansed number. This will give us some indication as to what the population is. I want to propose here that take 31st of August to 31st of August next year for continued cleansing of the data. Make sure the input is correct. Make sure the verification is done. Make sure that we have the input and the data that we received as pronounced on 31st of August this year is really the correct one. So by 31st of August next year, before a nation become 50 years as a sovereign nation in September 6, 2025, we should now flag what is exactly the correct population of our country. I look forward to the pronouncement where one person, one citizen, has a number attached to that person. Every citizen must be numbered in our country. No one must be in our country with no number. Numbering is important. This number will be linked to your voting rights. This number will be linked to your bank opening rights. This number must be linked to your SME, the link in as far as government's effort to migrate people into the SME sector. Today I open this conversation. One person, one number. Instruction has already gone to National Statistics Office that every citizen in our country must have a unique number. This number eventually will link to your NID. This number eventually will link to your passport system. This number eventually will link to your bank. This number will link to your educational accessibility. Every person in our country must be numbered. This number will eventually give access for us to work with our development partner nations for visa, for passport, for uh, travel. Number and data is important. We want to use the census as a basis in which we order our country into an orderly society instead of unnumbered people running around all over the place with as person not writers standing doing any and everything they so choose to do. And I want to propose to all of us, get engaged, get involved. This is our most important national event that is facing us. After this one, we will move into the LNG elections that comes up later. And that's just a snapshot. Population count and numbering system will be the basis when we move into 2027 elections and going forward. I want to give to this country, my generation leaders want to give to this country a better platform in which people get out there and cast their votes. One person, one vote will come as a result of one person, one number. And this is the conversation that we are talking about and as we collect data for our census this year, this will be key in saving the future of our country going forward. I want all of you out there, this is important for you. You want education, you want health, you want road, you want SMP participation. Many of you complain we put money in BSP but you're not having access to the credit facility BSP and the commercial banks when you are counted. We need to know who you are. So you are a real person out there in our country that wants to do business. So, very important moment today. I want all of us to be counted. I don't want to leave anyone behind in our country. Development is your entitlement. If you feel development is your entitlement, assist National Statistics Office so that you are counted. That is your duty to your country. If you are not counted, if you don't participate in this one, don't complain that service is not reaching you. You get yourself and participate and get yourself counted. Districts are there to be used, provinces are there to be used, LNG is there to be used, the world councillors, for councillors nationwide,
We have now put you into payroll for the first time. Participate in this. And we make it simply, simplified, but with the greater accountability mechanisms that National Statistics Office will coordinate all of us. So it is really my pleasure this time. Uh, I can't give credit to uh, Marape uh, Rosa Pagugama. It is our constitutional duty. It is our constitutional duty to make this count. And we are obliged to deliver a successful census. Some of you may say it is late, it is a short time, but with a cost effective and a high, high uh, quality strategy can make us achieve the completion of the national census we want for our country. I conclude by asking National Studies through you, Minister Masada, don't go pussy come from my country. Provinces is there, are there. Districts are there for it to be used. Elegies are there for it to be used. The wars are there for, it to, for you to be used. The children who have left school out there in our districts and provinces will be mobilized to go back to the districts to participate in their count. Make them count themselves in. As they count themselves in for you and me, we need to verify the quality, quality checks, make sure it is competent. Hopefully, as we pronounce the numbers in 31st July this year, that is a pronouncement that is preliminary and we work towards the qualified number in 2025, 31st of August 2025. May God bless each and every one of us. I want every citizen of our country, this is the most important national event in contemporary PNG. Everything else is secondary. Get yourself counted, be counted. Don't leave yourself out of this. And from this, you get all government accountable for what government should do for you. Thank you very much.